Shinike no Campions Volume Chapter Part Chapter Olympus Apollo. You mentioned something interesting. Sus mood was bad despite saying that it was interesting. The trial to judge the goddess of beauty and love was still in progress at Olympus Palace. You said that the surface dweller Aphrodite brought here saw through the technique of the hero Achilles. Indeed, my lord Sis, the shining one Apollo smiled. That smile contained not even a speck of cloudiness, but it vaguely looked like there was ulterior motive behind it. While he was the god of sun, his smile was suitable for a twisted person who deliberately walked in the darkness. Achilles the swift attacked with the godspeed that he was proud of. It should be impossible for a mere surface dweller to endure it, no matter how blessed with fortune he could be. Furthermore, this person, he got up nonchalantly even after receiving the body blow of Achilles. Hemsus knitted his eyebrows. The sun god Apollo reported further to him. And then just now, when I questioned the rats that I sneaked into Greece's ship as spy, that surface dweller also easily dodged two sword attacks of Ajax the lesser. He dodged the serious sword attacks from a hero that crushed a whole army of ten thousands by himself, M. His blade can cut even us gods apart if we let our guard down, I believe. Stella Fredit was getting anxious hearing their talk. The wound of Rokuhara ran that she felt just now. That might be the sword wound from Ajax, the lesser. She had to go to Ren quickly. Stella was looking around restlessly, however there wasn't any path of escape anywhere. The sovereign king says glared at her. Now then, hearing that this surface dweller escaped safely from Achilles made me recall a certain matter. It's about a while ago. A certain goddess departed from Olympus to chase after Aphrodite who was wandering to Earth. Is that right? Twitch. Stella spoke while pretending to be calm. Oh, you. She said before vanishing that she would chastise the goddess of beauty and love who perpetrated something bad. Those words reached my ear. Oh, my. Is that so? This missing goddess you see in the past, even when I ceased chase after her for fun, she displayed a splendid escape. Sometimes he would transform into beast and sometimes into bird running around heaven and earth. It's exactly because it was this sis who was the pursuer that Shanimus's could be captured. Sis suddenly talked about the past. In addition, he murmured, if there is a surface dweller who stole the swiftness of goddess Nemesis in escaping, then it's no wonder that even Achilles ended up having a really hard time. The likes of Ajax, the lesser won't even be a match of such an opponent, unless he is able to take advantage of an opening due to some unforeseen situation. And then finally Sis let out a thundering roar. That goddess who governed over justice and divine punishment isn't in Olympus even now. She left to earth in order to chase after Euphrodite, and then she has returned even now, Scylla almost screamed high. But she somehow held it down. As expected, it concerned her dignity as goddess, however. She was gradually getting cornered into this predicament, to think that Ren's existence would anger the chief god since this much it was at that time. Gee, the audience hall of Olympus Palace its iron door was opening with a heavy sound. My companion should be here. Is it all right if I bring her home, Ren? The one who entered from the door was exactly the person who was being talked, Rokuera Ren, the worthless human that Stella brought from Earth. He didn't even possess thousandth of drop of divine blood in him. He also wasn't a hero or a great person, not in the slightest. He was just a mediocre person who wasn't any different from Lev Stuck, a surface dweller without any redeeming feature. That should be him. And yet, he devoured two gods and usurped each of their authority. The youth who should be called as God-slaying monster was smiling cheerfully with a relaxed stance. You finally came, Ren. That's because Stella was noisily sending me your thought. Thanks to that I immediately found where you are. Luckily I also have a comrade who can fly in the sky. I asked her to send me here. 
Ren smiled at the captured Stella, however. The companion who shared half her life with Rokuera Ren spoke with an angry face. Aren't you a bit too late? Do you know how disheartening it is for me to be alone in this kind of place? Haha, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Stella was unable to keep up her acting and her true feeling leaked out unreservedly. Ren apologized to her. It'll take you out from here, so forgive my lateness with that, though it doesn't look like it will be that easy to do that Ren shelved his inherent carefreeness for the moment and said that. A white palace was erected on the summit of the mountain Olympus that was towering majestically. A lot of people were inside the audience hall at the center of it, perhaps all of them were gods, or if not they would be something that was similar to that. Ren quickly sensed that from the atmosphere of sublimity filling this place, and then, a familiar large man advanced forward from among the gods. He was walking with heavy footsteps toward Ren who was at the entrance of the hall, bluish black skin and muscular large body. A wild-looking bearded face, there was no doubt. He was the sea god Poseidon who he encountered at the sea a few hours ago. From what I see, you're the god slayer who got lost into our sanctuary, huh? Poseidon stared dubiously at Ren and sniggered. Ha! Huh? Ridiculous. I can feel any killing intent or fighting spirit that is peculiar to those beasts from you. Not even for a bit. Now this is truly a seedy-looking beast. I was also told that before. I think it's fine, though, being thought as weak. Ren rarely smiled. After all, I don't want to be talked as though I'm a killer like that. There is no way it's fine. Poseidon haughtily approached Ren with powerful stride. A trident appeared in his burly right hand. Ren had seen it before in a painting. It was the favorite weapon wielded by the sea god of Greek mythology. You see, even with your appearance you're still more or less a demon who has done harm to us the gods. Even if you're a small fry, if you don't at least act in a way that befits such feet that's troubling, you are. Poseidon suddenly thrust with his spear, Ren hurriedly jumped away from it. The tip of the trident cut through empty air. But the sea god's hands didn't stop. The second thrust, third thrust unbelievably. Seventeen thrusts were launched in less than a second. A it was a speed that far surpassed human limit, however. Ren sighted all of them with an abnormal dynamic vision. He seared all seventeen thrusts into his eyes while slipping through the spear tips. That's dangerous, the moment he yelled. He was already behind Poseidon. He moved in clockwise direction and circled behind him. He used the footwork from the boxing that he learned continuously at his middle school and high school aiming for the sports scholarship. Poseidon's spear didn't reach Ren's body. His attack couldn't catch up with Rokuera Ren's abnormal agility. Everything only cut empty air. How Poseidon murmured in admiration. He didn't lose sight of Ren who circled behind him. He turned around to behind him and aimed the tip of his spear once more. He wasn't shaken at all despite witnessing the supernaturally fast escaping speed. He was really used with fighting. Sure enough, Poseidon chuckled Kukuku, God Slayer brat. Your running away is really fast it's one of my few strong points after all. But when I came to this world. I suddenly met with someone who seemed to be faster than me. I lost my cool there. I chills the swift her. Certainly if it's you, you might put up a good fight against that person. Poseidon looked around the hall. It was in order to pressure all the gods who were present here, he yelled. I ask all the gods. Assistance in this battle between me and this cursed god slayer is unneeded. I alone is enough to trample this little brat. In saying this especially to my cheeky niece, the silver-haired girl wearing green robe, Athena of the shining eyes, the staff she was holding had vanished when anyone noticed. In exchange her hand was holding a long sword. She looked like she was going to move any time now before this, though she had stopped at this moment, 
Absolutely don't do anything intrusive. Ah, understood. Honored uncle, the goddess of wisdom and war replied in a bit of dissatisfaction. Right after that, suddenly the scenery surrounding Ren changed completely. From the audience hall where the gods gathered, to smack dab in a marine blue sea water, Ren was shocked he. He was stepping not on marble floor, but white sand on the bottom of the sea when he realized, as expected from the sea god Poseidon, he brought Rokuer Ren into the sea in an instant. He couldn't breathe like this. He also couldn't move satisfactorily due to the water resistance. And then, Poseidon was charging forward like an orca or shark attacking their prey. The large man with height more than two meters was so fast he could be mistaken as torpedo. Naturally, his trident also attacked Ren with the same speed. Wait, wait, that's unfair. Blub, blub, blub. Ren's protest only ended up as bubbles coming out from his mouth, however. He was doing what he should do. Look. He was staring hard at the bearded sea god who was an orca or torpedo charging straight in the sea. Poseidon's movement was just like a slow motion in Ren's eyes. He saw him through. He could do it any time. The moment he was convinced of that, Ren's body smoothly swam and slipped beside Poseidon. How? So your escaping speed doesn't change even inside the sea. Uh, the voice of the god of ocean Poseidon was heard clearly even inside water. When it came to underwater fight, no matter how anyone looked at it, the other side was an advantage. Ren focused his mind in order to heighten the power of divine mystery dwelling inside his body and heart the so-called magic power or mystical force in order to reject the effect of magic befalling him using his willpower. I won't go along with this kind of trick, right after he asserted that, the seawater around Ren vanished completely. He returned inside the palace's audience hall once more. Yes, he splendidly broke Poseidon's spell transition toward the sea that was affecting him. If he was slower by only five seconds, the spell would become something that he couldn't negate anymore anymore. Hemph. You're an impudent bastard just as expected. Poseidon glared at Ren and spat out. Even though the two of them were inside water, their clothes and body weren't wet at all. A mere human who is fated to die dare to haughtily brush away the mystical force of us gods. Obviously, we humans aren't the toy of you god. Have. You're already something that isn't human since a long time ago a god-slaying beast, hearing you talking like you are the representative of the humans is laughable. As soon as he said that, Poseidon thrust with his spear once more. Furthermore this time the trident was clad in golden splendor. The tip that was divided into three blades and also the long handle were shining gold divinely. It was an attack that was had the might of bringing certain death applied on the weapon. But, in that instant, Ren also similarly unleashed his strongest weapon. His Rokuera Rin's right hand's middle finger and index finger were glued close to each other and they were thrust straight forward. The approaching tip of the spear and Ren's two fingers clashed. Jeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
in pain and fell on his knee. Ren looked down at that blunder, Poseidon turned a gaze that was filled with anger toward him. You bastard, you deflected back my spear in the words of you gods. It's retribution, if it's said in the words of us human. It's cross counter. Anyway, it's a technique that returned the attack power from the opponent exactly as it is, in that instant. The trident lost against Rokuera Ren's two fingers and sprang back with join. Sound, it then vigorously rotated once and gouged the stomach of its owner. Ren displayed a brilliant performance, but he was still only smiling indifferently till the end. You see, actually I have no intention to kill a god, but a trouble befell me, so I used all my might to brush it off against anyone who will harm my friend and important person and declared coldly without hesitation. It'll definitely take revenge on that person using everything that I can use, huh? So you're finally talking in a befitting way, huh? Godslayer, the wounded Poseidon howled fiercely. Then suddenly Rin's partner Stella raised a lovely voice. A gods who is guarding the country of Troia together with me, Aphrodite. You've seen it just now, correct? This is the power of my Bellano. The lowly godslayer who is serving as my servant, Rokuerin, the belt that was wrapped around Stella's waist was shining with rose color. No, it wasn't just her belt. Her whole small body was clad in the same radiance, because there is the favoritism of my lord Sis and the harlot Athena in the war with Greece's side. The situation will be leaning to that side sooner or later. The chance to overturn it is only now. If you help Rokuera Ren here, we will bring victory to Troya's side without fail. Ren's partner used the authority friendship circle as though to say that now was the moment, of course, to respond to this or not would be decided by the other party's will, if the other side didn't find enough attraction from Stella's speech. Then she would only get ignored, however, as though he had been waiting for it a certain god left. Ha 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 ha. Way to go, Princess Aphrodite, and also the god-slaying beast Sedano. The one who laughed in exhilaration was the radiantly beautiful youth, the handsome sun god Apollo. He was an old friend of Stella and a god who protected the kingdom of Troia from Greece's army. He called a silver bow into his hand. Indeed, you should use all your strength to brush away the trouble befalling you. And then this time, the one bringing trouble is all of you the gods protecting those people of Greece. The sun god turned his silver bow toward Athena. The goddess of wisdom and war also felt shocked as expected. She sharply questioned him. Have you lost your mind, a shining Apollo? Have you forgotten? The authority of this lowly Apollo also included foresight and prophecy, to speak honestly. The fact that this time the Trojan War this time will end in defeat for the Troy is something that I have known since a long time ago, however. No matter what that plot is not amusing, the handsome young god grinned heroically and fearlessly. Ren comprehended. Thinking back it was him who granted the foresight and curse to Cassandra. It wouldn't be strange for he himself to have foresight ability, and then, Apollo pointed his hand to Rokuera Ren and yelled, O gods who came from outside Greece like me. The intrusion of this godslayer is a good chance. Let's show our obstinacy and dignity to the gods of Olympus.